Yes. Did you say what I cross posted? You are just telling me after I've gone live. Hello, everyone. Hello, 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 hello. We're here, we're here, we're here, we're here. Sorry, the no, phone is, my phone is over there. You need it? Mm -hmm. Hello, ladies. Yeah, and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's another rot expectations and gist time. My name is Bidemi Makmodi. I have Tamara Ellis in here. And of course, our dear, dear Mama Linda is here as well. Hello. Thank you for joining us. I can see one chi already. Um, as you join, please share so that others may come in. Can you see how we are looking lavish already? <laughs> I'm wearing green today. Mama Linda is wearing a blue. Yes. And Tamara is wearing a green. Don't be confused. It's not a gray. It's a green. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, um, welcome. Yesterday we had such a delightful time with um, Pastor Mayo Kung, um, Sister Onye, and Adeshewa. Today is three of us plus Idu. So I'm waiting for Idu to join us. But yes, welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> um, I received some messages this morning of people who have had such tremendous, um, what's it called? Um, someone had two visions yesterday, last night into this morning concerning mm -hmm. the Rod Conference. Mm -hmm. So the Lord is speaking. I want to read one of those um, messages that the person sent to me. She had a dream, but um, my madam has my phone, so when she gives me my phone, I'll read it to you. Just to say that it's going to be a great time. The Lord has started to move. I have received favor. Favor. In even the little things, I've received favor. And for that, I am grateful. I've received favor in something as little as, can I get my nails done? And within, you know, my regular nail technician is not available and i'm asking someone and she says oh and i'm going to bring the person and within an hour that arrangement is made and it's done so i'm just telling you that god is not only interested in the little in the big things in this time even the little yeah. things yes he's interested in how we do Thank you so much, Rita, for saying we look lavish. Yes, hey, that you. was the idea. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, it's going to be a great time. So, if you have something to share with us, we'll be willing to, um, I, I'd, I'd love to hear it. So, just put it in the comments and then we will find a way to read it to the audience. Um, and please remember to sh um, ask others to come in in the process. Share, share, share. You do, you're supposed to be asking to be in the video. So ask to be in the video so I can bring you in. You're not supposed to be standing on the periphery at that point. Anyhow, so Tamara, tell me, you are the latest, the new kid on the blog. Yes. <laughs> Give me my phone. You are the new kid on the yes, blog. Tell me, how has Ross just the expectation of being at the Rod Prophetic Conference 2022. What has it been like for you? I mean, I am more than overwhelmed with joy mm -hmm. of the Holy Spirit. His presence is already here. Mm -hmm. I mean, I get to be with my big sister, mm -hmm. Pastor Bid me. Mm -hmm. I get to be with Mama Linda. And so my expectation is that during this prophetic conference that God is going to speak to shift us into our next. Mm -hmm. I'm so ready for the future, mm -hmm. but sometimes we don't have language for the future. And I really believe this conference is going to give language mm -hmm. for your future. Mm -hmm. Hi, awesome. That's really good. <laughs> Tell me about all the many lavish things signs and all that you, you you started to see the moment you oh. made the com uh, commitment to come oh well i had a dream an outer body experience i had never experienced that level of vision and dreaming in my space i'm a seer naturally but i literally had an outer body experience and i saw pastor bidding me in this vision and so i knew that the lord was going to do something so great that we had never experienced before and when i begin to ask the lord about the vision 
he just said, Tamara, you have to get ready for this level of supernatural. Mm -hmm. Like what we're getting ready to experience, this Roth is not going to be like any other conference you have been to. If you think you're just coming to be fashionable, which we will be, oh, yeah. we will be glad <laughs> But it is only to demonstrate prophetically. It will be an outward sign that what God is doing in the spirit mm -hmm. and what God is doing internally. Mm -hmm. And so I'm telling you, I mean, every time I drove down the street, I saw lavish, lavish nail salon, lavish hair, lavish car wash. It was just screaming at me. And I knew this was the place I needed to be. And it was getting ready to shift me to my neck. So, I mean, throughout the whole time, Pastor, a bit of me. I mean, I saw lavish everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Wow. Okay, so Mama Linda, talk to me. What do you think? Um, what's What's been happening to you? I know you also um, did send me a few messages yeah. and we had a call where you kept saying to me, oh, Papa is walking already. He's going to yeah. lavish us. So please share with well, our audience. Well, what, what I've been personally experiencing over the last, I'd say, month, two months is just got personally lavishing me and surprising me. Mm -hmm. uh, everything from a, a vow renewal in, on the beaches of Aruba to just unexpected financial blessings to new opportunities and doors that has opened up. But more than what he is doing externally, I believe this lavishing is mm -hmm. going to come internally. Mm -hmm. And one of the words that we keep hearing to go along with lavish is imminent that there's a shining forth and a coming forth, a coming out, a showing up, an unveiling, mm -hmm. as we were in last year's conference, and a revealing mm -hmm. of his daughters mm -hmm. like never before in beauty, in femininity, in intelligence. Mm -hmm. So I believe that there in this event, what we see external, if the, from the colors to the dress to you know how Bidemi goes all out, for this particular event. I believe it's a reflection and it's a prophetic sign and symbol, a heralding, if I could say, that he is wanting us to come into the fullness of who he created us to be. We were reading earlier this week that the best idea that God ever had was creating you. <laughs> so he's lavishing a new identity on us, a new freedom on us, so that we can come into the revelation of the sons of God that the earth is groaning for. And I believe that the Lord is using Bidemi as a catalyst to declare new language and to cause us to become what the Lord has already said about us. Yes, 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 yes. And so um, I, I have no idea what it is that um, what your peculiar place is right now. Neither do I understand why you want to, I, I can never know why you want to come to the Roth Conference. But I do know that for some of us, it will be like the Lord has captured your heart and he says to you, you have to be there. And so you're moving things around to make sure that you're here. I just want to use this as a confirmation that you heard God, you did not hear yourself. You heard God and so you need to do everything, do whatever it takes and make sure that you are in the house. It's going yeah. to be, I mean, do I need to say the word again? It's going to be lavish. Yes, it's going to be lavish. So this morning, the Lord said to speak to me and those of us that were on the prayer call would remember. I can't, I'm adding her, her internet isn't strong enough. You do, your internet is not strong enough. Your connection keeps failing. So it's not me not adding you. I've added you like three times mm -hmm. and it's not working. So your connection is failing. That's me adding you again. However, I was saying this uh, that um, this morning the Lord started to speak to me about how even in being lavish with us, you know, uh, he's going to also kind of like niche, niche focus us. He's going to yeah. narrow things mm -hmm. down for us. Mm -hmm. And um, that was why at the prayer call this when I started to pray, Lord, may I be in position for you. Yeah. May I not be out of position. May I be in sync oh, wow. and in position. Yeah. I want to be exactly where you want me to be in this season. Yeah. We also prayed this morning, oh Lord, let me use the right um, 
the right um what's it called the right tool yeah. i do not yes. want to use a net when i need to use a sickle yeah. i want to be exactly where you want me to be yeah. i do not want to be out of your will i want to be in the center of your will yeah. and if you are on see why i am this morning i start to talk about the safety net of god yeah. how when god called me because some yeah. of you you're going to be receiving your commissioning in this time yes yeah. when god called me um, and I realized that, oh, he had called me to do this thing. I had no, I had no big sister. I had no, no. mother in the Lord. I had oh, no wow. father. There was no precedent. There was no yeah. model to follow. Yeah. And so I remember that I went to God and I said, Lord, I know I do not know what I'm doing. But I trust that you have mm. called me. So here's what I'm going to say. I am prone to mistakes and know I know that I can make mistakes. But if you'll be kind enough to make sure that you frustrate all of my efforts come so on. that only your efforts will come through. That's yes. good. I know that I'll be good. Yeah. And oh God, has it frustrated my effort? <laughs> it's cost me money. It's yeah. cost me sometimes relationships. It yeah. cost me sometimes many things. Yeah. But what I am comfortable or, or confident about is that thing that i know no matter what i'm in the will of god and so this morning i was encouraging some of us to just throw our nets out let god hem us in so that you are he give him permission that was what i said this when i say give him permission to frustrate your efforts yes. so that Ooh. only his efforts will come forth yeah do you understand that yeah. so perhaps you received a call today let me tell you how i got into this thing called the return of the helper prophetic conference i was pregnant with my daughter when god said to me i want you to become a helper mm. you know and i'm like I don't know what that means. But yeah. I started a journey that culminated eight years later or seven years later, actually, after he told me, I want you to be a helper indeed. And I want you to open yourself to the helper. Seven years later, he was saying to me, now I want you to begin to run a conference and it will be called the return of the Ooh. Ezra. I didn't the know what the word Ezra meant. Yeah. So I had to go and dis, uh, research what it meant. Yes. yes. And then I realized that it meant helper. Yeah. So I said, okay, so we're doing this. And he said, yes, do it. But I also remember that I looked at my space. I looked at my resources mm. and it was not enough. So I said, Lord, I'll do what you've asked me to do, but I will do it when I have the money. So, of course, I ran to Mark, who in that time was my source, even I didn't know, even though I didn't know it. And I said to him, God has asked me to do a conference. And he said, really? I said, yes. I said, what kind of conference? I shared the vision with him. And he said, how much will it cost? I said, I don't know. I'm not sure. But I'm, I think it will cost a lot of money. And then he says to me, okay, um, <laughs> when do you want to do it? Initially, I wanted to run this um, conference in April. Mm -hmm in April of 2008. So I said, we'll do it in April of 2008. Then he says to me, but you know, our rent falls due in that time. He said, um, but don't worry, the moment we finish paying our rent, we will do the conference. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, April came and went. <laughs> and then of course, no conference. <laughs> then in June, in May, May came, went nothing. In June, I fell ill. Mm -hmm. I fell ill on a Sunday night or early hours of a Monday, made it into the hospital about 8, 8, 7 a.m. or maybe between 6 and 7 a.m. that Monday morning. And I didn't open my eyes again for five days. Mm -hmm. By the time I woke up and I came to myself, by the Friday, I had gone, literally gone wow. from size 16 to size 8 in five days. My skin pigmentation had gone like four shades darker mm. and my hair was falling off mm. in five days. I still can't tell you what it was that caused that thing. What I do know was that it brought me to the place that I realized that if I had died, I would be in dereliction of an assignment mm. that God had given me and I had done yes. nothing about. Mm. So I got out of the hospital 24th of June. I'd never forget and I said, no, 23rd of mm -hmm. June. And on the 24th of June, I decided to, I run, I was running a youth fellowship at that time. 
So I went to that youth fellowship and my young people were screaming because they knew that something had changed. Mm. They saw me, I was frail, I was not myself, but they also knew that something had happened Ooh, in wow. my spirit inside. on the inside. Yes. And so they were, they stood and they were clapping for a long time, mm. just giving glory to God. Ooh. And right there in the middle of that, I heard the Lord say, when will you do this conference? And mm. I said, I picked up my phone and I said, July 20th. Wow. Mm -hmm. And that was less than wow. a month. And we wow. had that first conference. Wow. It was on a Sunday. So we started about 12 noon mm -hmm. and we were there till about 6 p.m., 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. The room was packed. And that day I knew that God had called me to this. Wow. And we have not looked back since then. Why am I sharing that today? I'm sharing that because I'm thinking about someone today who is also in the precipice and crucible of doing something elaborate yes. and something lavish for heaven. Yes. But you have checked your resources. You've checked. Your, wow. your, you've just looked at yourself and your place is too narrow yes. for what God has called you to. I'm sharing so that you would be encouraged yeah. to know that the God of heaven would meet you. Yeah. It was not easy the first few years of this conference, mm. but he told me from the beginning that it would be an international conference. Mm. And I knew it was international, but 2010, 28, 2008, I spoke by myself. 2009, I spoke by myself. I said for maybe, no, I had a guest come to speak for like 30 minutes, but the entire day I spoke alone. Mm. Then at 2010, mm -hmm. I spoke alone as well for a whole day. Wow. Then at the end of 2010, I remember he said to me, get ready for the international mm -hmm. version of this conference. And by the next conference, Coach Anna was in Lagos mm -hmm. speaking at that conference. Wow. I had my sisters, Audrey and Ini, they were there. They were speaking at the conference. We went from a one-person conference to a multi-speakers conference. Wow. And by 2012, Mama Linda had joined. Wow. And since then, we've not had one edition of Roth that we did not have an international speaker. Wow. Someone must have gotten on a plane to come. <laughs> That's and horrible. even when nobody comes to speak internationally, which was maybe just one year, we had participants okay. get coming wow. from the United States on their own to come. There's been no year since 2011 that oh. someone hasn't come from the U.S. to attend mm. this conference, except for 2020, when there was COVID and yeah. nobody could travel. Wow. I know that you will feel like you are not ready. But if God would use this... If God. If God would use this, yeah, that's good. I, I I I just feel in my spirit that it is time to encourage someone today. Mama Linda, do you want to talk about the food at Rot? Do you do you remember the food at the Rot? Yes. Well, you know, <laughs> Bid and Me always is an over the top person. I love how she has already been practicing lavishing the participants. Everything from the decor to the table mm. settings, to the food, to the gifts that we receive as a demonstration of the outpouring of God's love. Yes. This is the 15th year. Yes. And I believe mm -hmm. something significant is going to happen to close a gate of time for what she has done and open a gate of future to mm -hmm. the future, which means that new things, he says, I'm declaring and new things that I will do. So I believe the food that we that we will eat is a representation of the bounty and the abundance that the Lord wants us to have. So just come, fellowship with your sisters, yeah. bring your friends. Um, I keep coming back every year, not just because I'm a speaker. Even if I wasn't a speaker, I would come because yes. it's a covenantal relationship and there's an impartation Absolutely. and my life is catapulted to a new level every time I come. So just want to encourage you to come and drink and eat naturally, but also come and drink and eat spiritually yes. and your life will be different. Yes. Yes. So I, I want to share something with you to, um, that I received this morning. I'll share bits and pieces of it Um with you, but I want you to know that the Lord is doing something. 
So this one, in, um, someone sent this to me. She said, um, <clears throat> I had two dreams over the night and I've been praying concerning Nigeria as you have sharpened my belief in her. Also, I've been praying concerning Roth. I saw in my dream a large crowd, like waiting for something to be unveiled on a stage. The atmosphere now came. There was a huge thing covered on the stage and gradually it was piled away until finally a person showed up against all expectations. Behold, it was first of all a woman mm. and second of all, a second of all, it was a child. They wore her a priestly kind of robe, mm. but I heard her say, I am only a child, a child. This robe is too big for me. When I woke up, I remembered David. In my second dream, a similar mm -hmm. dream to the one you had weeks back. I saw a stream, but it was very clear. Mm -hmm. I can see it now even as I type. It was so clear. I could see the ripples of the waters. I could see the stones and other stuff you have under, you can have underwater. The waters started clearing out and some of us standing around, including you. Thank God I'm there. Yeah. <laughs> even in the dream. Yeah. I appeared very excited. I heard someone say, something great is coming out. Let us keep watching and praying. And I woke up really excited this morning. Reverend, the Lord is moving. Mm -hmm. The thing I always like about the Rod Conference is he doesn't leave the revelation with me. Mm -hmm. To be truthful, 80% of the time, I only know half, not even up to half the revelation. But he speaks to many other people. And then when we come together, it's just a potpourri Ooh, and then it blends yeah. together and the scent and the fragrance is something out of this world. Mm -hmm. There are people who, when they come to Roth this year, will begin to run a race yeah. and they will never be able to stop because the Lord would, yeah, the spirit of God would yeah. overcome them and they will find themselves running like they've never run before. I want you to know that something is happening. Yeah. And I and those who know me know that I don't hype. If I were a hype master, you know where I'd be. But I don't hype stuff. Yeah. If this was not going to happen, I wouldn't be telling you it was going to happen. Um, <laughs> fun fact. Every rut when there is a dress code, I would, it will be a tug and a pull with my husband. He'll be like, what color are you wearing this year? And I'll be like, is this color? He'll be like, I'm not wearing that color. And I'll be like, guy, just chill, try, <laughs> calm down, wear the color. I'll be like, no, I'm not wearing that color. I'll say, okay, I'll just give you a pocket square. Just make sure you're compliant. I'll be like, no, I'm not doing it. But this morning we had that conversation. And he was like, so what do you want me to wear? And I was like, okay, maybe for day two, you can wear blue. And then for day, the grand finale, day three, you can wear this particular outfit. And he looked at me and I'm like, mm. and I'm like, okay, no, what, just wear what you want. But please just be compliant. And he said, oh, no, don't worry. I'll wear what you want me to wear. Mm. That is lavish for Lavish. <laughs> <laughs> that is lavish favor. Yes. Brethren, I, 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 I just want you to come. I said it before yesterday. I want to say it again. The Rod Conf Prophetic Conference is not a women's mm -hmm. conference. We transitioned out of a women's conference on our 12th anniversary. Mm -hmm. At the 12th edition, the Lord released a word and said, this is no longer the women's Ooh, conference. It powerful. is now a prophetic conference. That's mm -hmm. how we put the word prophetic into this thing. Mm -hmm. So I need you to know that it's not just for the women. Ladies, if you can get your husband to come and sit still for seven, eight odd hours, please ask them to come. I've never had a situation where someone will come and say, oh, I did not receive anything. Mm -hmm. It's never happened before. It will not begin to yeah. happen now. Yeah. So, um, yeah, tomorrow. Yes, me. Please say something. Wow, wow. Well, one, I'm so glad that he's in the compliance. <laughs> That's already a prophetic sign. Yes. Um, but as you were reading the dream um, that she uh, had the first dream and how it was the child mm -hmm. in the robe and then it was the woman. And I really just heard Holy Spirit say, 
that that child represents your expectation mm -hmm. and that when you begin to show up to the conference that God is going to mature your expectation. Wow. So maybe you were just believing God just to kind of get into the building, but God says, no, he needs your expectation to grow with this Roth yeah. conference. Return of the helper. The Lord is coming to meet you, to help you mm -hmm. and to deliver you, to save you. So as you're getting your outfit ready, you're putting your colors together, together your 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 spouse will be in compliance because yes. it's already happened at the yes. top you just need to know allow think bigger put a demand on the anointing don't just wow. expect god to do the little things god says mm -hmm. get new prayer requests mm -hmm. like he wants your expectation to be greater and grow into full maturity god can pay your bills. That's a small thing in the eyes of the Lord, mm -hmm. but believe him for the nations, believe him for your community, believe him for Nigeria. And as you're doing that, you will see that God will lavish you with ideas. Mm -hmm. He will lavish you with deliverance. He will lavish you with resources. Mm -hmm. I came all the way from sunny California <laughs> to, rainy Lagos. to rainy Lagos. <laughs> But my expectation has not wavered. I am believing God for something for Nigeria and for the United States. I am believing God for the partnership between Nigeria and the United States. I'm believing him that my nation will adhere to the prayers of Nigeria because you guys have been praying for the nations and we honor that. This is something far bigger. It's We're coming dressed up lavishly to meet the king. Yeah. And he has an answer. He ha he is the answer. He is the solution. Mm -hmm. So with my beautiful uh, dress and outfit that I have, I am not afraid to cry on it. Mm -hmm. I am not afraid to bow in it. I'm not mm -hmm. afraid to, you know, a dance and praise him. I'm coming in my expectation. So even her dream was prophetic that our expectation must mature and grow. And notice it was clothed in a robe mm -hmm. that was too big for yes. it. There, God is increasing our capacity. Wow. And you might not feel like I mm. even belong here. Mm. Uh, what is God going to do for me? He's mm. talking to you. You mm. who think I don't belong. I don't fit. No, the woman of God has set the table and you are invited. God has given you a personal invitation to the table. Mm. And so I'm excited. That's the goodness. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I, I want to highlight in case you didn't hear that. I know a few of you heard it. The first thing Tamara said was that God was going to give us a language for the future. Yes. Mm -hmm. The second thing she said now is that God wants to mature our expectations. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know whether you can feel it already. I can. Yesterday, they had me in a corner. <laughs> they had me in a corner. <laughs> we love you, baby. Uh, I know you love me. <laughs> I know you love me <laughs> so much. And they had me in a corner. And they had me in that corner and I was listening to them and they just kept going on and on and on about this thing that the Lord is shutting down and this thing that the Lord is bringing forth and how the God is going to um, break down the structure that I already have. Five minutes after I built the structure <laughs> and then they want to break it down, bring something else. But what I do know is I sat across the table with one of the most accurate prophets that I know yesterday. And um, even that meeting is something else that I haven't processed because I dare not process it right now. But just to know that it's been a journey with that particular uh, prophet of God. And some of the things she spoke, there is a nest even for I don't want to say nation, a nation, let me say nations, that we cannot get into unless what will happen this next three days happens. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be the person who was told. You don't want to be the one mm -hmm. who's online and then five minutes later someone calls you and you rush, you make a dash to the store. You don't want to be the person who's getting their hair done in the same moment they are at the road conference. Give God all the regard that he deserves, all the honor that he deserves. Even if you're going to be part of this online, make sure you clear your itinerary. Yeah. Sit down and just be focused for, make sure that you don't, you don't snooze. 
make yeah. sure yeah. that you are part of this. Yeah. I, 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 So as you were saying that, I was thinking about the power of impartation, mm -hmm. right? So the purpose for being in the room is to have an encounter with the Holy Spirit. And I believe if you are there, there's a moment that he wants to encounter you, no matter what else is going on in the rooms mm -hmm. and who else is being impacted. What about you? And the moment that he has invited you into an opportunity to meet with him, it could be in your living room online. We know that happened mm -hmm. last year yes. during, during the, the COVID. Yes. Amazing things happened. Amazing testimonies came in. But don't just take it like you're coming to, oh, ho, hum, another event. No, you're coming to the king's banquet. You're dressed in your royal apparel, mm -hmm. like Esther was. Yes. She didn't come in her rag. She didn't come in her day dress. She put on her garments that yes. represented the authority that she had been given in God. And she came now to not only receive the favor of the king, says each maiden yes. was received by the king. He extended his royal scepter to her. Mm -hmm which really saved her life had she approached the king and he had not stopped his guard surrounding her she would have been beheaded that was the custom mm -hmm. and so now there's a time now to put on our royal apparel and the other thing i was thinking too mm -hmm. bit of me mm -hmm. is when you went back to that word easier mm -hmm. the foundation what mm -hmm. god named this mm -hmm. in its infancy in mm -hmm. its formation mm -hmm is bringing us back to the Garden of Eden, is bringing us back to creation, is bringing us back to his original intent, his design for us, why he fashioned us and made us. He made us to be beautiful. Yes. He made us to be regal, intelligent. He made us to have authority to yes. rule and reign. So could this be a time now that he is commissioning, bidding me, thank God for you, has been faithful for 15 yes. years. Year after year, at her own expense, at her own investment, at her own challenges, but staying faithful to God to create a pathway. Could this be the moment of life where he wants to lavish us in a way that we will never return to the place that we were? So just want to encourage you ladies, we have come and gents to the kingdom for such a time as this. 2022 could be our time of visitation. Oh, you don't I'm want ready. to miss it. I'm so I'm watching the comments. <laughs> We're still having um, a bit of a problem bringing a do in. She keeps asking to be added. I add her. And it's the it's the connection fails. So um, she may join us at some point. She may not join us, but I know that she's part of this conversation as well. I was looking at the comments and I saw Pastor Val had posted something, and he said, "Rot is always glorious." I can tell you that for free. And I also saw that Ohunene had posted, and she said, "I was after 2020, Rot 2020, I was hooked." amazing Ooh. things the lord does i have never had a situation where someone said i came unless the person came with an ulterior motive mm. and then just because of that they couldn't allow receive. themselves to receive, to receive. Mm -hmm. but everyone who comes with an open mind mm -hmm. oh my god Ooh. and an open heart and the spirit is open and they are just open to the embrace of heaven they usually leave feeling like God has met with me one-on-one mm -hmm. on one at this conference. And um, something else to look forward to in the 2020, uh, 22 Roth Conference is that it falls on my birthday. And I'll tell, no, it's not about the gift registry. We already settled that yesterday, yes? <laughs> <laughs> but this is serious. Um, Rot 2016 is the only other rot that fell on my birthday. Mm -hmm. and I, I believe that God went the extra mile at that at that conference because it was my birthday. Mm -hmm. And someone will be like, who are you? Uh, the, the beloved of God. That's yes. who I am. Yes. So, um, I but, was beloved. But, yeah. but, but this was what happened. That year, the Lord gave me a word. He said, 10 times better. 
ten times mm. better than your peers i would i would give you and um it's been a journey in that word that word i haven't finished even unpacking it let mm. alone leaving it and we are here now six years later and it's my birthday again but one of the things that was very clear if you watch the video for rot 2020 mm -hmm. 2016 we the video showed people coming in mm -hmm. never showed anyone leaving whoa mm -hmm. The, oh. So it, movement was in two directions. Movement was in from the main door into the facility, and the second movement was towards the bathrooms. Mm -hmm. And we would see a woman grabbing her loins mm -hmm. and running to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. We had people who were flying and were in transit in Amsterdam reporting that they started to feel bent mm -hmm. pants, oh, label yes. pants, yes, just because they were connected online. Wow. Yeah. I have wow. no idea what the manifestation would be in this year. Mm. But I know that because that's how God does with yeah. me, there is something in this 52nd year of my life that he wants to take off of me, the grace. Mm. I know, and I'm not trying to be boastful. I'm just telling you what it is that it is. Yeah. There are people that something will be taken out of me and put on. Mm. Because whether you like it or not, I have done this at least for 20 years. That's Whoa, two decades okay. yeah. of my life pushing in this direction. And I'm mm. thinking that I have gotten to the place where I see manifest yeah. my spiritual sons and daughters. Mm. So there's something that's going to be taken and put on people. You don't want to come there and sit at the back. Make sure you come in early and don't say to the ushers, no, let me take a seat at the back. That's why I said to you, come with, make sure you are dressed well. Make sure you are ready to withstand cold, for instance. And make sure as you come in, you go in, zone out your phones and yeah. just focus okay. on what the Lord is doing. Mm -hmm. I feel like somebody would not mm -hmm. need, somebody needs to pray not to blink. Mm. You because you don't want to miss, miss nothing, nothing. <laughs> nothing in this season yeah it's good. amazing what the lord is doing and every single day he's adding to this to what we thought we had put together <laughs> every mm. single day he's adding to it does anyone have a question does anyone have a question i'd like to see your questions i don't know why everybody is agreeing with us yes. why is there someone <laughs> just saying <laughs> 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 Oh, wow. Someone says, I'm attending virtual and I'm wearing orange. God spoke to me that I'm a bit lukewarm and needs to be on fire for wow. him. Can you imagine that? Yeah. That's, awesome. Those are the kind of instructions that I want to hear. People on their own, in their one-on-one -on -one time with God, wow. hearing what God is saying. So that when you come like that, it is not a chore. For no. us to get you in the flow, right? Come because on. you You're are ready. already in the yeah. flow. You're We're ready. Expecting. So you just yeah. the moment you step in, you just feel the water rising. Ooh, and that's what it is that I want yeah. to see. So who has has an, an instruction? Please share your instructions with us. We mm. are I am excited. Mm. Honestly, mm. I am excited. Is there someone who has other instruction? Is there someone who has other instructions in this time? Share your instructions with us. Mm. And I promise you, this is safe place. Yes. You mm. need to share. We can press in with you by prayer if we feel like there is a need for that. Mm. But you want to be open so that you know that you're in the midst of your brethren. Mm. When even before we get online and we get in that physical place, someone mm. has said to me this morning, she said, I have such a great expectation of rot that it makes me ponder every time. Mm. That means someone is in a cont contemplative mode because of what the spirit is pulling yeah, on the forming. inside. There is a tub, yes. there is something forming on the inside yes. that makes them actually sober. Yeah, they are okay. pondering yeah. and because um, 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 the Bible in, the, in, in Luke said that um, when um, um, Joseph and Mary brought Jesus to the temple mm -hmm. in Luke chapter 2 and Simeon started to speak about yes. the future so they said that Ooh. Mary pondered the things in, in her heart, heart. Yeah. 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 Right, right. Yeah. 
you will not miss a minute for look at i'm joining my faith with you whatever we stand in the way mm. we're taking out now you will be right where you yes. need to be in the in name jesus of name. jesus yes. and patience even before you get here you will catch the fire of heaven yes. in the name of in the jesus name of in the name of jesus yes. in the name in of the jesus. Name jesus oh yes. yesterday someone holy says holy spirit God. told me why praying he asked me what my reward what reward i want for rot wow and i will lavish you with that reward at rot trust me i made my desire known mm -hmm. that is how it should it ought to be someone is saying i don't know if i should call it an instruction but it was a deep feeling of wearing the color of color orange for deliverance hallelujah yeah you. so you are receiving your yeah. personal matching orders right. yeah. this is not about sister be said and Oh my God. <laughs> I feel it. I feel it. Yes. 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 Our God is moving. He yeah. wants to do great things. Yeah. He wants to do great things. He wants to do great things. He's mm -hmm. begun to do great things. And this is just an invitation. Which it, I, I keep saying to people, all that God needs me to do for what is create the environment. Mm -hmm. When the atmosphere mm -hmm. is created, he He'll comes and he takes it ecosystem. over all by himself. Yeah. And putting the atmosphere together is the easiest part of the job yeah. because mm -hmm. it just takes money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. It doesn't cost me anything else. Someone sent a message and said, I have asked the Lord to grant me access. She said, my plane ticket is bought, but I need my professor to give me Friday off. Mm. And I want us to join our faith together we'll this together. afternoon yeah. Yeah. and say, Father, in the name of Jesus yeah. for your children, yes. Yes. as many of them that desire to be here yes. and they have a work issue that may keep them back. Yes. Father, yes. Lord, in the, the heart of the king is yes. in the heart, yes. is the yes. hands of the Lord. Yes. We ask, oh God, that you will turn yes. the king's heart in, in favor for them. Yes. Lavish favor yes. in the presence yes. of their kings yes. and their bosses. Yes. In the name of of Jesus, so that your sons and your daughters will be yes. able to come, so that what you have prepared with their name on it will yes. not be taken back into the warehouse for another year. Yes. In, the yes. In the name of name. Jesus, yes. we mm. agree with every one of you who yes. wants to come yes. and is saying, Will I even get transport to come? The Lord will supply your need. Yes. In the name yes. of Jesus, yes. it will be easy. For those who say, Oh, I'm afraid and apprehensive of the traffic, the Lord will clear yes. the roads for you. In yes. the yes. name of the name Jesus. Of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Someone says, God told me why my fabric has a little blue because he has come to heal me. He yeah. told me not to bedazzle my dress as he will bedazzle me himself. himself. Oh my God. Ooh, that's powerful. Wow. Wonderful. That's Roth 2022. Someone yeah. says, I was told what dress to wear for us before the colors were told to us. When Sister B told us the colors, I was stunned that the color of the of the, the color of the dress is compliant with yes. the color of the conference. Yes. Wow. The Lord started to speak long, long yes. before we even yes. issued the what we heard. Yes. Long, mm -hmm. long before we we shared what we we heard with other people, and so I'm just grateful i am just yeah. grateful yeah. i am just grateful some mm. says i will be dear green is my apparel for growth renewal healing and restoration yeah. in Baby, the name I feel of like, jesus i feel like the the, the the both the colors and the garments mm. are about the lord being able to identify where you are placed in the priesthood wow mm. Mm. that's good Mm. I think that, that that colors have significance, yes. especially if it's come to you mm. by personal revelation, mm. that there's something, not only is he releasing mm. uh, upon you, mm. but he wants to release through you mm. by mm. impartation mm. and by the lavishing of the Holy Spirit mm. in your life. Yes. So, yeah. Mm. So come priest adorned yes. yes someone says i'm hungry for the touch and fellowship of holy spirit Ooh, that's at, good. I like at that. this rough and then we even pray it over you right now yeah. 
Yes. That from this moment, yes. that yes. touch, Thank you, Father. that that yes. hunger yes. would be as yes. it would be satisfied yes. even from this moment yes. in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Lord gave me orange with a touch of blue. For he says, my deliverance will bet praise, mm. which will draw fire down. Oh my God. Wow. Yeah, the fire <laughs> yeah. Then an overshadowing shadowing of the Holy Spirit, with which which with with which makes me walk in the power of God's authority over my life. Mm -hmm. Can you see? Somebody has a question. She says, in getting my right, my posture right, please define the authority in color blue. Um, I, I don't think so much that your the authority in the color blue is more about you than it is about God. I think a confirmation, like yeah. Mama Linda has said, yeah. that the Lord is about to confer something yeah. by the dress that you wear. Your job, yes. yes, yes. So your job is to just comply with the color that the yes. Spirit of God has yes. told you. When you show up, he mm. will begin to download for you, starting from the Thursday morning. Yes. He will begin to download to you what exactly it is about yes. what you have That's on, good. where you have been, and where you are headed. Yeah. But definitely, there's not one person coming that will not receive instructions for their nest. Yes? Yeah. Say, so even Pastor Bidemi, the authority is in the obedience. Yes, yes. Yeah. That's what it is. So mm -hmm. if God tells you to wear orange and, and purple, the, the authority is not in the color. It's in the obedience. Mm -hmm. It's also into the obedience to the woman of God. So sometimes we feel like, well, why do I have to wear a special color? I want to wear what I want to wear. I'm one of those people. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it's the obedience coming into the obedience with the word that God has prepared. And that obedience unlocks the authority that you're longing for. Because I could hear in the question, you're wondering where's the authority the authority mm -hmm. is in the obedience it's in the obedience yeah. so just obey and mm -hmm. someone is saying that my instruction is really simple the simpler the instruction the better yes. for you yes. because yes. that's just the beginning of many instructions yes. coming so yes. even if all you heard was when you come sit at a particular seat come on just obey obey just Woo. obey that's, that, that's all that is required Required in this season. Yeah. We're not required to do anything more. Just mm. come in the place of obedience. Yeah. There is a strength, there is a power, yeah. there is a grace, yeah. there is an, 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 an there's um, uh, 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 there is a a release yeah. in the bla in the yeah. place yeah. of obedience. Yes, it is. And you'll be amazed what obedience will bring you to. Mm. So please do not um do not us um do not um, hold back. Yeah. If you came in and the Lord said to you, kneel down through, make sure you're on your knees. It doesn't yeah, it spoil anything. We will look for a pillow for you to put yeah. your, your yeah. knees on. That yeah. is what I know can yeah. happen. Because I've been, there was over six months, the Lord said to me, for a stretch of like six months, every day if I go to church, every Sunday, he'll say, do not sit, just kneel. Wow. So I kneel at that service throughout yeah. and only get up if i was going to go and minister Ooh, sometimes it's just obey the foolish things yeah. Yeah. seemingly foolish yeah. things yeah. someone is asking says why are we limited to one color some of us want to be lavish with so many colors like, let me just tell you the why the why you are limited to one color is i don't want you finer than me because that <laughs> would be a problem yes yeah but i also know that many of you are not obedient so you would wear more than one color anyway. But if I catch you and something says you are better than me, bathroom duty. Bathroom duty. <laughs> Ushers, bathroom duty. <laughs> but really, um, um, the reason why we, 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 we said people should wear specific colors is because, number one, of the grace. You, you need to know, allow the Holy Spirit to tell you what you need in the now. Yeah. Simply because there is healing, there is priesthood, yeah. there is wealth, does not mean that in your on your journey and at the spot you are right now that you need all of them at the same time. Right. So stick with what you need the most or what mm -hmm. the Spirit of God tells you you yeah. need the most. Mm -hmm. That's why. For aesthetic reasons too, because the way we have mapped out the um, the, the, the event 
um, the event venue and how we have done our decor. It just makes sense that there is this blend. We mm -hmm. want these videos. When people will see these videos, I want them to see the glory the of God even. Yes. yes, I want yes. people to see the reason. Yes. I want the Lord to yes. open someone's eyes who mm -hmm. will be watching these videos yes. on YouTube many years later. Mm -hmm. I want someone's eyes to be open to the prophetic yes. power in yes. that room that day. Yes. Absolutely. And for that to happen, God gives us details and we are meant to align and comply. Okay. This is the details that he gave us. <laughs> yeah. I already announced that last year, it was even at the unveiling that I said to us, I said, the next theme is lavish, <coughs> excuse me, and the Lord says four colors. Mm -hmm. What I wasn't sure about was what the colors would be. Yeah. So it took me a while to be able to um, discern what the colors would be. Yeah. But if you insist on wearing more than one color, I can already see most of you say, I have yellow with a touch of, that's how they are, they are way of saying to me, I'm not obeying the instructions. I'm just <laughs> going to come the way I want to come. It's your father's house. Come how you want. Yeah. But I need you to know that because of the seating arrangement, there is a way your outfit will look and we will not know where to place you. So you may have to join all that in the bathroom, in the bathroom too. Bathroom <laughs> duty. Yes, but but really all of this is prophetic. The thing about the Rod conference is every step of the way is prophetic. Every tiny thing is prophetic. And the thing that gets me in this particular one is the prophetic elements were taught to different people. Someone said to me because I had said that I was not going to bring the cross to the stage. Yeah. Since we had done that at Ruach, I wasn't going to add the cross to the decor. Right. Mm -hmm. But then someone calls me and said, I saw the cross. Wow. And I saw it like this. And I saw myself bringing the fabrics to be draped on the cross. Right. Now, how can I deny how right, what the Lord has shown her? Uh, yeah. right. So there are people who have received, and of course they reson resonate with us, yeah. My, yeah. with the Spirit of God on the inside of me. Yeah. If they say it, and then the Lord confirms it. Yeah. Yeah. Just the same way we were speaking yesterday, and the Lord said, put perfume oils in the room. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And so we're working on making sure that that shows up now. Yeah. It's just amazing. What the that Lord obedience. wants to do. Yeah. Our job is to obey. Yeah. And I do hope you're obeying. This time flies really fast when <laughs> yeah. we're having fun. Yeah. So let me check the comments again. Melinda, Tamara, do you have anything to add? I mean, I'm excited. I'm, I'm going to comply. I'm going to be in <laughs> obedience. I cannot wait to praise God. I cannot wait to be a part of the prophetic vision. See, when God speaks, it's not always through words. He's very picturesque. And so the picture that God is painting, even with the colors, and God is not just words, he's aroma. Yes. And so for God to mm. show up with the smell, the mm. fragrance of the Lord, I mean, I'm going to, I'm so open to however God wants to move. If he wants to bless my senses through my eyes, my ears, my nose, my mouth, I am yielding all of those things to him. And I want to show up and be a part of this. See, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. You get to walk in the manifestation of prophecy when you show up. Mm -hmm. You get to literally say, if you've become never seen the world, were you, yes, in you flesh, you say you want to be like Jesus. You get to be like Jesus at Roth, right? You get to show up as the word. You get to be in the manifest of, I'm excited about that because this is my first time. I'm so excited to be a first time coming from the United States and I get to be a part of prophecy, something that has been birthed in prayer, something that has been lavished in the presence of God. I get to partake of that and I consider it an honor. And so I'm so excited to be here, Pastor Benjamin. I mean, listen. I want the aroma of God. I want the, the, the adornment. You right. have no idea what's coming to you. Oh, You have no clue. I receive it all. It's just the mercy of God. Yeah. I want you to recognize that we're in this time in history by the mercy of God. Yes. You know, um, yeah. it, it feels really great to say I've been on at this for 15 years. Mm -hmm. But brethren, this is a season we've been brought to by the mercy of Ooh, God. Yes. This is by the mercy yeah. of God. Think about it. Who are you? Who am I? Mm -hmm. It's this. Mm -hmm. There's nothing else 
but the mercy of God. Amen. That's how we have arrived here. And I just think that if the mercy of God has brought me to something, yes. I must not walk away from it without yes. receiving it. No, not at all. That's right. That's I what I think. Yeah. I am yeah. here and whatever it is, whatever that nest looks like, yeah. with trepidation, I'm willing and I'm open. Mm. I, I know it can never be what I used to know. Right. But I'm willing to learn this new thing. Yeah. I'm willing to do this new thing. Mm -hmm. So yes, you need to be ready and steady. You need to pray. You need to pray. You need yeah. to pray. Yes, yes, Joyce, don't just yes. pray to be there in the next one. If Jesus tarries, begin to plan. It will yes. take a, a flight ticket. So begin to put your money together. If you're wondering yes. what the dates will be for the next year, it's usually the third week of of July. Okay. It's never changed. It's always the third week of July. So if you're listening and you're like, I wish I could have planned to be there. Now you have a whole year to plan. Yes. If Jesus tarries and I know he would keep you till that day, yes. you would be there to be part of what he's doing in the next year. Yes. Unfortunately, I'm not at liberty to tell you what the theme is right now, but hopefully I'll have the release at the conference on the 16th to, uh, to t tell you what the, the theme for the next year would be yeah. but i can already see that the lord is building yes. upon Ooh, what you know is yes faith, it's faith. it's yeah. amazing glory. what yeah. god is doing Mighty and god. our time is almost up um melinda would you like to share one last word with dan and tamara so that i can yeah I, I would just say ladies just prepare yourself open up your heart be prepared before you come so that what mm. you carry can be added to the atmosphere, your yeah. adoration, yeah. your honor, your love for God, your expectation, mm. your your trust in him, that yeah. you're coming from a place of trust, that if he's called you to this place and he's invited you to this prepared place mm. in this appointed time, that he is going to meet with you there. So come with an expectation to be lavish because you're already lavish. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. We're already yes. lavish. Wherever the Lord is, that's where I want to be. Yeah. And this Saturday, it's going to be at Rod's. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's been confirmed. I yes. mean, how many more signs? The Bible yes. says out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, let every word be established. And we did not come through delayed flights. Can I tell you? Delayed flights, <laughs> super, canceled, canceled, canceled flights. flights. I mean, almost uh, uproar at the airport. <laughs> um, just all of it. But I, I, my faith, our faith was never shaken, shaken. because we said the Lord has spoken and yeah. Raw 22 is where we need to be. So yeah. if that is where the Lord is, that's where I want that's to be. Cool. And I cannot yeah. wait to see you for the first time, meet you, love on you yeah. and praise with you. I'm excited. Amen. Yes. And remember, you can walk up to any one of us yeah. and say, I've come for my hug. Yeah, that's something that happens a lot. On the lavish you, we, lavish we, we you. I'm not afraid to love on you yeah. because God is there to love on all of that's us. Yes. So yes. again, at, um, tomorrow at noon, I'll come again with another set of. Um, I'll come with my sister. I think um, Dr. Irene Olumese. She had spoken at the Rod Conference before. And that there's someone as yes, Sister Hunene would also be there tomorrow for us to speak again about our experiences. Um, I know about the Rod Conference and to help build up your expectation. Yeah. If you're in Lagos on Thursday, the first session is live in person mm -hmm. so if the your time is yours as long as you can be compliant in your dress show up at the well at 9 a.m for that first session it's going to be life mm -hmm. and um, i know that the lord last night he started to speak to me about that session and i was finally beginning to feel like okay lord i think i know what you're about to do mm -hmm. but really 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 i'm just looking forward to having all of you come again we pray today for everyone traveling mm -hmm. that yes. the lord will grant you journey yes. mercy yes. there will be no um delays at the airports or at the car parks mm -hmm. everything yes. will be easy you would receive favor every yes. step of the way you would see a sign every step that the Lord has brought you to something. Yeah. We love you and we look mm -hmm. forward to mm -hmm. seeing you next, um, see yeah. you yeah. on Saturday yeah. in a few yeah. days, actually. So yeah. thank you so much for keeping the faith with us this afternoon. Yeah. We'll see you tomorrow at 12 noon.
God bless you and bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.